हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू अफेयर्स क्लाउड माय नेम इज विकास सो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन बाय द नेम कैरियर्स क्लाउड विच यू कैन गो एंड डाउनलोड थ्रू द प्ले स्टोर एंड वंस यू हैव डाउनलोडेड यू कैन लॉग इन विद योर जीमेल आईडी एंड व्हाई आई एम सजेस्टिंग यू दिस एप्लीकेशन बिकॉज दिस इज द वन स्टॉप सोल्यूशन फॉर ऑल द करंट अफेयर दिस इज द बेस्ट ऑफ द बेस्ट एप्लीकेशन एंड द प्लेटफॉर्म वेर यू कैन एनहेंस योर लर्निंग थ्रू हेल्प here you will be provided with multiple courses here you will be provided with multiple options of quizzes and even you here you will be provided current affairs on daily basis pdfs and quizzes will be provided to you on daily basis both in hindi as well as english here you will be provided current affairs with weekly basis and monthly basis also here remember once you have done watching our video then you can log in through this application take out the pdf read that pdf and go through the quizzes that will enhance your preparation same you have to do for weekly and same you have to do for the monthly also in monthly you will be provided with the top 100 important questions pdf and video also that will enhance your learning and it will be a very benefit and beneficial and important video for the revision perspective and not just this friends apart from this we also provide you banking and economic questions we provide you state current affairs such as of uttarakhand up tripura telangana and many more not just this apart from this we also provide you topic wise current affairs and the topics that we are providing you are really important these topics are such as national affairs international affairs important days sports defense science and technology apps and web portals obviously these are the important topics that are being asked in various exams across india so these are the topics that are must and should be covered and will be beneficial for the preparation of the students so such friends i'll highly suggest you to watch our video as they will be very beneficial for you in the long hello everyone how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 14th and 15th of may The session will be very important, so do pay attention till the end. Let's start. The first question is: What is the rank of Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways among sixty-six ministries in the Data Governance Quality Index? I repeat, in the Data Governance Quality Index, this was released for twenty twenty-three. Tell me, or we can say this was released for the third quarter. Correct for twenty two twenty three. Question asked here is what is the rank of the Ministry of Port Shipping and Waterways? So rank for here is second in the Data Governance Quality Index. Correct. This Data Governance Quality Index assessment for the year twenty three was conducted by the Development Monitoring and Evaluation Office. Correct. This is an attached office of Niti Aayog. This DGQI, that is your Data Governance Quality Index, this DGQI survey measures the maturity level of administrative data systems and their use in decision making. Correct. So the rank of Ministry of Port, Shipping and Waterways here is second. Correct. you can see here according to the dgqi assessment for third quarter of fiscal year 23 ministry of port shipping and waterways was ranked second among 66 ministries with a score of 4.7 next next we are talking about migration right the data is more than 71.1 million people displaced internally worldwide in 2022 this report was released by which organization so remember recently a report was released that is global report on internal displacement this was for the year 2023 i repeat global report on international uh, internal displacement that is grid 2023 that was internal displacement and food security question asked here is this report was released by whom in which it stated that more than 71.1 million people displaced internally around the globe in 2022 and this is an increase of more than 20% since 2021 correct 
if we talk about inter internal displacement by disasters only like natural floods or any calamity so that has touched 32.6 million 32.6 million for the last year correct then if we talk about international displacement because of the conflicts or violence or war that is around 28.3 million also if we are talking about this then we should know that war is going on between ukraine and russia so because of that war almost 6 million people were also displaced right so which is the organization who released this GRID 2023 this was released by Norwegian Refugee Council and Internal Displacement Monitoring Center. So both of these organizations released this report. If we talk about Internal Displacement Monitoring Center IDMC, Alexandra Bilak is the current director here. Headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland and it was established in 1998. Correct? So remember it is your global report on internal displacement for 2023. It was jointly released by Norwegian Refugee Council and Internal Displacement Monitoring Center IDMC. Here you can see IDMC reported that more than 71 million people internally displaced worldwide in 2022. Among them almost 32.6 million people displaced because of disaster regions. 28 million people displaced for, for the conflict because of the conflict and violence and because of the russia and ukraine war almost 6 million people have been displaced next next is aims delhi partnered with who and duke and us on patient safety quality control i repeat all india institute of medical sciences delhi they have collaborated with world health organization southeast asian regional office and Duke and US to ensure patient safety and quality control. I repeat, AIMS, they partner with WHO, SEARO and Duke and US to ensure patient safety and quality control. That means to improve the quality, to bring about the changes or to bring about the new changes in the technology and implement them and also to ensure the patient safety these recently collaborations were done correct under this collaboration aims will follow the learning curriculum that is proposed by who correct so it is your aims of delhi that has partnered with who and duke and you Yes. Moving on next to banking and finance. Recently, Quant Mutual Fund they have launched an open-ended equity scheme that is Quant Business Cycle Fund. This new fund offer that is NFO is open and will close for subscription on 25th of May. And this Quant Mutual Fund they launched an open-ended equity scheme following business cycles based investing theme that is named quant business cycle fund correct the main objective of this fund is to generate long-term capital appreciation by investing with a focus on riding business cycles through allocation between sectors and stocks at different stages of business cycle the minimum subscription amount for investment in this scheme is 5000 and in it is in a multiple of rupee one after the minimum additional purchase in this scheme is 1000 rupees and in multiple of rupee one after that correct the minimum sip for weekly fortnightly and monthly sip is 1000 and in multiples of rupees one thereafter correct moving on next rbi banks to commence 100 days 100 pays campaign for return of unclaimed deposit i repeat it is your rbi they have announced on 12th of may that banks are set to commence a 100 days 100 pays campaign where they will trace and settle the top 100 unclaimed deposits of every bank 
in every district within 100 days the banks will commence the operation or this campaign from 1st of june what are these unclaimed deposits these are the money that has been in your saving account or your current account which are not operated for more than 100 years all right so as per the rbi data at the end of january the total amount of unclaimed deposits transferred to rbi by public sector bank in respect to deposits that have not been operated for more than 10 years or more was almost 35000 12 crore rupees and now they will be distributed back all right and that is your scheme 100 days 100 pays campaign it was launched by rbi correct these amount that is 35000 crore rupees amount was transferred to bank to depositor education and awareness fund that are maintained by rbi correct recently RBI has also announced setting up of a centralized web portal for public to search unclaimed deposits across multiple banks. The objective of this 100 days 100 pay campaign is basically to complement the ongoing efforts and initiatives by RBI to reduce the quantum of unclaimed deposits in banking system and return such deposits to their rightful owners and the people who who money belong to them. correct next pay nearby mall was launched by whom this pay nearby mall was launched for small businesses and consumers this was launched ahead the launch of ondc platform that is open network digital platform open network digital commerce and before the launch ahead the launch of this pay nearby mall was launched as the name suggests this is launched by pay nearby right it is india's leading branchless banking and digital network and they have launched this pay nearby mall it is a meta, meta commerce platform to enable the availability of goods and services this will soon be integrated with open network for digital commerce and if you remember paytm on paytm ondc is available right with this initiative Pay nearby aims to upgrade every retailer in their million plus active network to ensure they can benefit from the ongoing e-commerce revaluation in including the ONDC platform right so coming back this pay nearby was launched by or pay nearby mall was launched by pay nearby correct next Here you can see Pay Nearby. They have launched Pay Nearby Mall for small businesses and consumers ahead of the ONDC platform. With this initiative, Pay Nearby aims to upgrade every retailer in their million plus active network to ensure they can benefit from the ongoing e-commerce revaluation, including the ONDC platform. Next. who was awarded with the first asi govind swarup lifetime achievement award he will be professor jayant vishnu narlikar all right i repeat professor jayant vishnu narlikar an eminent astrophysicist and a past president of the astronomical society of india was awarded with the first edition of asi govind swarup lifetime achievement award He was honored with this award for his outstanding contribution in the field of astronomy and astrophysics in India. Correct. The award was first announced at the 41st ASI meeting that was held at IIT Indore in Madhya Pradesh. Then remember Professor Jayant Vishnu Narlikar was also awarded with Padma Vibhushan in 2004 and Padma Bhushan in 1965 correct then if we talk about this asi govind swarup lifetime achievement award this award is for astronomy and physics that has been instituted by astronomical society of india <coughs> this is award is honored to senior scientists for their eminence once in 2 years correct This award has a citation and a plaque and a cash prize of one lakh fifty thousand rupees. Also, moving on, here you can see 
प्रोफेसर जयंत विष्णु नार्लेकर ही वॉज ऑनर्ड विद ए एस आई और द फर्स्ट एडिशन और द इनोग्रल एडिशन ऑफ द ए एस आई गोविंद स्वरूप लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड मूविंग ऑन नेक्स्ट इज स्वानसी यूनिवर्सिटी डेलिन थॉमस प्राइज वॉज वन बाय होम आई रिपीट स्वानसी यूनिवर्सिटी डेलिन थॉमस प्राइज इट वॉज वन बाय होम रिसेंटली एंड फॉर विच बुक ही हैज वन दिस अवार्ड सो इट वॉज वन बाय एरिजे एफ ए कैंडू राइट ही इज ट्वेंटी एट ईयर्स ऑफ एज एंड ही वॉज अनाउंस एज द विनर ऑफ द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री स्वानसी यूनिवर्सिटी डायलेन थॉमस प्राइज and this was for his debut book that is god's children let me show you this is god's children are little broken things all right and it was authored by arinze if you can do correct this is a short fiction collection in english language and dillon thomas prize it is one of the uk that is united kingdom's most prestigious literacy prize and it is one of the world's largest literacy prize for young writers correct so arinze if i can do won the 2023 swansi university dillon thomas prize moving on who has been appointed as the new ceo of twitter important appointment friends do take a note she is linda yakrino as you can see here in the picture she has been appointed as the new ce chief executive officer of twitter now elon musk made this announcement a day or two before uh, a day or two before yesterday that stated that he will no longer be the ceo of twitter instead he will be appointing someone to be the chief executive officer of the social media platform that is your ceo correct so uh remember she linda would succeed elon musk as the ceo of both twitter and x corporation a technology company correct moving on next who became the first indian global ambassador of gucci another important question because from ambassadors brand ambassadors question can definitely be asked so who became the first indian global ambassador of gucci she is alia bhat correct a bollywood actress a producer and an entrepreneur she has been announced as the first indian global ambassador for gucci correct she will make her first appearance as the brand ambassador at the gucci cruise 2024 show to be staged in seoul south korea correct so alia bhat is the right answer here next is science and tech nasa launched the second super pressure balloon from new zealand as you can see here this is one of the second super pressure balloon that was launched by nasa this was launched to do various testing in the atmosphere in the different layers of the atmosphere correct so it is your nasa they launched this scientific balloon program and they have launched this second football sized heavy lift super pressure balloon from Van vanaka airport in new zealand <coughs> this is a technology mission that is aimed for 100 days or more of flight in the earth's upper atmosphere the overall goal of this mission is basically to test and qualify the technology for flight correct then remember the air or the gas that is filled in this balloon is helium correct if we talk about the size of this super balloon and remember this is almost at a height of around it will go at a height of around 33.5 miles and it is basically the size of a football stadium and that has been inflated with the help of the helium gas correct it was launched by nasa it was launched from where it was launched from new zealand and it is basically to last 100 days and it is a super pressure balloon consisting of helium and it will be doing various test in the upper earth's upper atmosphere 
नेक्स्ट एमिनेंट सिंगर कल्याणी काजी हैज रिसेंटली पास्ड अवे करेक्ट एंड द यंगेस्ट डॉटर इन लॉ ऑफ पोएट काजी नरूल दैट इज कल्याणी काजी रिसेंटली पास्ड अवे एट द एज ऑफ 87 इन कोलकाता वेस्ट बंगाल नेक्स्ट इज अ बुक दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग द बुक इज फर्स्ट लिथुएनियन ट्रेवलर्स इन इंडिया आई रिपीट फर्स्ट लिथुएनियन ट्रेवलर्स इन इंडिया द एम्बेसी ऑफ लिथुएनिया रिलीज द कॉमिक टाइटल फर्स्ट लिथुएनियन ट्रेवलर्स इन इंडिया विच वॉज लॉन्च बाय डियना मिकी वेंसिनी और राइट हु इज द लिथुनियन एम्बेसडर टू इंडिया द कॉमिक बुक विच वॉज और विच हैज बिन ट्रांसलेटेड इन टू हिंदी हैज बिन रिलीज एज अ साइन ऑफ फ्रेंडशिप बिटवीन द टू नेशन द बुक डिपेक्ट सम ऑफ द हिस्टोरिकल कैरेक्टर्स हु केम टू इंडिया ईयर्स अगो एंड ऑल्सो रिफ्लेक्ट इन द इंडिया लिथुनिया रिलेशनशिप करेक्ट नेक्स्ट इज वेन डू वी ऑब्जर्व वर्ल्ड माइग्रेटरी बर्ड डे सो वर्ल्ड माइग्रेटरी बर्ड डे इट इज ऑब्जर्व बाई यू एन करेक्ट and it is annually observed across the globe on two occasions that is the two peak days each year first is your second saturday in may month and as well as in october month so right now remember it is 13th of may as well as 14th of october that we will be observing world migratory bird day Correct, and it is observed on the second Saturday of May as well as second Saturday of October. So there is a theme also that you can remember for this. That is water sustaining bird life. I repeat, the theme is water sustaining bird life. This is the theme for the World Migratory Bird Day. Correct. Next, next is your. International Day of Plant Health. It is observed on twenty twelfth uh, of May. So UN's International Day of Plant Health. It is annually observed across the globe on twelfth of May to create global awareness of the importance of public health to end hunger, to reduce poverty, to protect biodiversity, to protect the environment, to boost the economic development. Correct. So this International Day of Plant Health is observed across. the globe on 12th of may and this is the second edition of the international day of plant health that we have observed correct the theme that you can remember here is plant health for environmental protection i repeat plant health for environmental protection is the theme of international day of plant health next next is state news himachal pradesh chief minister sukhvinder singh sukhu launched him data portal for better digital services i repeat him data portal it was launched by which state it was launched by the chief minister of himachal pradesh and what did he launch it is him data portal this is a common digital platform to improve the delivery of welfare schemes by integrating real time and accurate data of all the government bodies to better serve the public correct the portal was developed in collaboration with the department of information technology of the government of himachal pradesh the himachal pradesh state government would start the him parivar project that gives a special digital identity that contains information about various essential facilities like ration cards family registers electricity drinking water etc correct so remember the same data portal this is a common digital platform to improve the delivery of welfare schemes by integrating real time and accurate data of all the government bodies to better serve the public so that's all for the day friends now let's go for a quick revision dgqi assessment for third quarter of fiscal year 23 was released and ministry of port shipping and water was was ranked second IDMC report was released and more than 71.1 million internally displaced worldwide. Ames Delhi partnered with WHO Duke and US on patient safety and quality control. Quant Mutual Fund launched an open-ended equity scheme, Quant Business Cycle Fund. RBI banks to commence 100 days 100 pays campaign for return of unclaimed deposits. 
पे नियर बाय दे हैव लॉन्च अ पे नियर बाय मॉल फॉर स्मॉल बिजनेसिस एंड कंज्यूमर्स अहेड ऑफ ओ एन डी सी प्लेटफॉर्म देन प्रोफेसर जयंत विष्णु नार्लिकर ही हैज़ बिन अवॉर्डेड विद द फर्स्ट एडिशन ऑफ द और इनागरल एडिशन ऑफ द ए एस आई गोविंद स्वरूप लाइफ टाइम अचीवमेंट अवार्ड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री स्वानसी यूनिवर्सिटी डायलन थॉमस प्राइज वॉज वन बाय एरिजे कांडो देन इलान मस्क हैज अपॉइंटेड लिंडा एज द न्यू ट्विटर सी ओ एज वेल एज ऑफ एक्सकॉर्प नेक्स्ट आलिया बट शी बिकेम द फर्स्ट इंडियन ग्लोबल एम्बेसडर ऑफ गुची नासा लॉन्च द सेकेंड सुपर प्रेशर बलून फ्रॉम न्यूजीलैंड एमिनेंट सिंगर कल्याणी काजी पास अवे लिथुएनियन एम्बेसी रिलीज अ कॉम्बे बुक टाइटल फर्स्ट लिथुएनियन ट्रेवलर्स इन इंडिया वर्ल्ड माइग्रेटरी बर्थ डे ऑब्जर्व ऑन थर्टीन ऑफ मे इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ प्लांट हेल्थ ऑन ट्वेल्थ ऑफ मे हिमाचल प्रदेश चीफ मिनिस्टर सुखविंदर सिंह सुखू लॉन्च हिम डाटा पोर्टल फॉर बैटल डिजिटल सर्विसेज so these are your important current affairs for the day friends now it's time to your revision first international nurse day it is observed on 12th of may next badminton legends linden linden is from china and li chong wei is from malaysia they have been recently selected to the bwf hall of fame that is badminton world federation hall of Linden from China and Li Chongwei from Malaysia. Next, Kerala became the first state to launch institutional ranking framework. That is K I R F. That is your Kerala institutional ranking framework. So the first state to launch this institutional ranking framework is your Kerala. Next. Union Minister Piyush Goyal he co-chaired the 6th edition of the India Canada MTDI in Canada correct next world bank they have approved 82 million dollar for zoonotic disease prevention in india so remember which organization provided or approved 82 million dollars for 82 million dollar loan for animal health system support for one health program correct or we can say for prevention for zoonotic disease prevention in india and these zoonotic diseases are the diseases that are transferred from animals to humans next chief justice of india dy chandrachud launched the e filing 2.0 and e seva kendra recently loris world sports man of the year award was given to lionel messi and Loris World Sports Women of the Year 2023 award was given to was awarded to Shelly and Fraser. AU Small Finance Bank they partnered with Rupee to offer cashback Rupee credit card. Next, next is Grow. Grow is an investment platform and they have completed 175 crore rupees acquisition of Indian Bulls mutual fund business. Next, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs and Ministry of Railways they have jointly signed an MOU with Jika for Project Smart. I repeat, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs along with Ministry of Railways they have signed an MOU with Jika for Project Smart. Next, Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen won the Miami Grand Prix 2023. Correct. On second position was Sergio Perez of Red Bull and third was Fernando Alonso of Aston Martin. And if we talk about Max Verstappen, he also drives for Red Bull. So these were your important current affairs for revision, also friends. Now let's move to the homework. First, what is the target growth of medical devices industry by 2030 as per the National Medical Device Policy 2023? Next, legal debt ceiling is associated with which country? We are seeing this news daily. correct and it is also related to recession also third which country has recorded an increase in cases of the klebsiella pneumonia bacteria so these are your three homework question friends i hope you have understood the assignment all you have to do now is like the video and comment below and let us know what are your views for the same if you want me to continue with these lectures with the new information on daily basis then i want to see maximum likes and comments on this video So that's all for the day. Thank you and have a nice day. That's all for the day friends. I hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the 
YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel, you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel. And if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application, you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862. Apart from this, friends, you can follow us on the Facebook as well as on Instagram handle that is Affairs Cloud underscore official. In the end, friends, if you use a code that is Vikas10, you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code Vikas10. Also, if you have any problem regarding the course purchase, any problem regarding to our application, you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862. And if you want to mail us, you can also mail us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com. And I assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue.